Hello, now I want to show you how you can set up your computer under Windows to work on the knitting projects of FOSS Asia. For example, here we have the web page knitting.fossasia.org and this is the overview page of the different knitting projects we have. If we scroll down, we see the knit editor, the knitting pattern and the iApp interface repository and I want to show you how to set up the development environment to work on these three projects. We will focus on the knit editor because the knit editor has Kiwi as an additional dependency and this is a difficult to install dependency. So, first we click on the docs. There's the Kiwi installation page and under Windows can see that we should use the Kiwi installer to install the Python and the Kiwi version. So, so clone or download. So we can either download it, open in desktop, or clone it. And here I want to clone it because I have set things up already. So, so I made a new folder called knitting. And now I can hit now I can clone the URL. There we have the kiwi.bat. This is the file we can execute to install the kiwi and Python. This now downloads Kiwi and then walks us through the installer. This is the example application of Kiwi and it works. There we see there's a python.exe and we are in it. We can exit. Now we can go on and clone the projects. The knit editor project and the knitting pattern and the IAP interface project. Of course, if you have your own project, you can clone your own. You can you can fork the project up here, and then you can can clone your fork. Now we we make a test. There's a shortcut on the Windows command line. It should be installed and put. Yeah, this is the right thing that we installed. So now we can go to the knitting, knitting pattern project. Install the dependencies. And the test requirements.
and the development requirements. So we are done with the knitting pattern, we can go into the knit editor project. There we do the same. Install the development requirements, the test requirements. They're already up to date and the requirements. No. Then we can go into the IAP interface. Then if there we do the same. Start the requirements, test requirements, and the dev requirement. We can uninstall the, the installed knitting patterns. These modules were installed by the knit editor, we don't need them, we can use the local versions. We are in our IAP interface. So when we now execute this, we can do import knitting pattern and it doesn't work. Now I will show you how you link this into the side packages. You can do And this creates a link. We do this for the knitting pattern too. For the knit editor too. So now when we go into the Python command line, we can import we can import the knitting pattern module. For example. Okay, now we can check out if the knit editor works. And it's working. So now I have shown you how you set up your environment so you can use, uh, so you can develop on the projects.